Gary. Here we go. All right, today's cheer is being sponsored by Vlad Zakharov. Sponsoring that for Rufu Shlema for Shiro Soro Bas Shishana. Shiro Soro Bas Shishana. She's having serious problems with the gallbladder for a while and scheduled for surgery on July 6th here in the U.S. If you could also ask everyone to daven for her, I'd really appreciate it. Shiro Soro Bas Shishana Rufu Shlema. Anybody else today? Oh yeah, there's two sponsors. Hold on. We are very not organized today. Here we go. Yankee Kraus is sponsoring today. Lilu Nishmas, Rabbi Socher Doiv, Ben Ribbon Tzion, Zechroin Levrocha. Lilu Nishmas, Leo Basi Socher Doiv, Zechroin Levrocha. And now to the Choshevi emails. This one is from Alter Moral. Hi, Rabbi Stefanski. I have been in and out of the hospital the past year and a half. I finished the DAF cycle once and was learning on the train on the way to Manhattan from Long Island. I was in such a difficult state, did not continue the DAF. When the new cycle started, I decided to try to get back doing the DAF. And then I discovered the 8-minute DAF. It has enabled me to learn the DAF even when I'm having a hard day. I cannot thank you enough for this incredible opportunity to not fall behind in the learning of DAF Yoimi. It is a lifesaver. Tiskele Mitzvah is out and moral. P.S. My mother is Dr. Joyce Morrill, Ni Stefanski. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but related, definitely related. Here's another. This is a, it's a good thing Nachman Seltzer wasn't here on Shabbos, but because he wasn't here, Yisrael Goldstein stepped in and gave me a little piece of Musr, and I'm a Kabbal the Musr. L'chvoy Rav Shlita. I have no need to explain how great you give the shear. It always starts off nice with a compliment. Ah, uh, you give a shear, we hear it live from you and we hear the feedback from all the listeners in the emails, but I have to let you know how therapeutic is you are. I was driving back from the Catskills and was sitting in traffic on the 17th for more than two and a half hours. I started a few weeks ago doing Chazorah from the beginning. Now I'm up to Daf 27, 28, and 29 on regular speed. Trust me, there's no better way to spend time alone in traffic other than your Gavalikas Yurim thinks again, Yisrael G. P.S. For your safety, don't read this out at the Shir. Okay. On the way up to the country, I turned on the last two Shiurim. When the first Shir opened, I was excited to see it's more than an hour long. Wow, either it's a long Shir or there's a 15 minute post Shir from Zoom. I had two Hasidic boys in the car with me. I was excited to let them hear a good daf and Yoimi Shir until the story. It's kind of embarrassing. Kids, I said a story I shouldn't have said. That's, that is the truth. I have charot that I said it. It was not in the right place. And certainly I didn't have a mind that it was more for English speakers. It was a little whatever, but the, the Yiddish speakers is a terrible, embarrassing story. It didn't change my mind in the utmost respect for you in the MD RBS Chevra. Love again from your truly faithful Talmud. Yishkoyach Rabbi Yisrael. I'm a Kabbal the Musr. Today's daf is daf Kuf Chof Beis. Unbelievable. We're starting a new parak today. And we are starting today from Daf Kuf Chof Aleph on Beis on the bottom, two lines from the bottom. By the way, Reb Naftali Rishel is uh, not here today. He's a Sandik for his own grandchild. So Mazel Tov to him. Um, we are unfortunately closing down MDY slowly but surely. Um, it's not surely. But it's, it's basically where we stopped the rotation as we had it. Uh, I just need a few people in the audience, the, the, the regulars, the, the Menachem Mata and Nachem Seltzer, a few, a few people that uh, give me a hard time during Shir just to make it interesting. But the, the idea, the, the problem is that uh, it's spreading right now, the, the, it's spreading in the neighborhood. People that we know from the Shir, their children have it. So it's just, it's not, for me, it makes sense to close down now, unfortunately. Bezer Hashem will be back up and running when this is all over. So, says the Gemara, Omer Rabbi Bar Kahana, Omer Rabbi Hanino, Rashi points out that Rabbi Bar Kahana is the one that started the sugya like 10 lines before when he said that the, the snake fell out of the ceiling. So being that we mentioned his name, so therefore we're going to mention a number of halachas that he says. Pamoite shall base Rebbe. 
Mutter l'tafel on b'Shabbos, you're talking about the candelabra, the menorah of Rebbe, you're allowed to carry it on Shabbos. What are we talking about? So first of all, Rashi points out that it's a candelabra that doesn't come apart. Because we spoke about candelabras that come apart, we had a whole sugi in the Mems, that that's a big problem, you're going to come to put it together again. Okay, so it's one piece, one solid piece. Now, is it very heavy or very light what's going on here? Says the Gemara, Dav Kufchav Beis Omed Aleph, Omar Lei, Ko'isam Shul Beis Avicha. You know what? Today's Dav Kufchav Beis Omed Aleph is sponsored, L'schus my son, Elazim Menachem. You should get into a good yeshiva, B'meheira B'yomeinu. Omar Lei, Ko'isam Shul Beis Avicha. It's actually a good bracha for the whole shir. Because if he gets into a good yeshiva, I could stick around. Hint, hint. A good yeshiva for him, right. If not, I mean, there's other, I'm, I'm not going to say which yeshiva now. Off, off, off mic, we'll discuss it. One of the better yeshivas, but uh, he's a top guy, and he wants to either that, or my wife says he has to go to Chicago. If he goes to Chicago, she goes to Chicago. So I said they could both go to Chicago, but she wasn't very happy. Fine. So, oh, let's stop. Time out, down my head. Corona. Corona. says Rashi, they were very light. Says Taisis, they were very heavy. It's, it's, it's great when, when Rebbe spoke like uh, in uh, yesterday also we had the Rebbe. Rebbe said something we didn't understand. Even in that sugi, the last sugi that we had. Crypt, cryptic Rebbe. He said, what did he say over there? Yeah, the guy that killed the snake, he was, uh, he, the snake met his match. Was it a good thing or a bad thing? We didn't know. But over here, Rashi seems to know that he's referring to a, a very light menorah. Taisa says, Piru, Shem G'daylum, a very big menorah. Vama Rebbe Barakano, Rebbe Chanino, Kroinois, Karona, Shalbeis, Rebbe, Mutter L'Tatel on B'Shabos. So you have a wagon, a base Rebbe, you let it move it on Shabbos. Omal Rebbe Zerah, Bin Etalim, Ben Almecha, Devishnei, Bin Eodam. Again, this is Rebbe Abba Barakano saying halacha. And the same question, we're talking about a heavy one, a light one. Omal Rebbe Zerah, Shalbeis, Avicha. Again, the light one, like in your father's house. You know what he has there, it's light. Another halacha for Rebbe If wine was transported on a wagon by a guy, and it's possible that the guy opened it up, tampered with it, the whole, the whole sugius in Avidazara, if it has one seal, that's enough. For Rebbe. Rebbe, the Nasi, he could have one seal. Velo Yedano, and I'm not sure, Mishum the Savala, Kirev Eliezer. Mishum, Eim Sidi Ben Is the Psha because he holds, like Rebbe Eliezer, like Rebbe Eliezer, that holds that one seal is enough? Or the Psha is because Rebbe was Rebbe, he was Antonina's friend, he was appointed by the Roman government, he was... He, was, he had ends, and nobody wanted to tamper with his wine. It, it didn't make sense to tamper with the Nussi's wine. You're going to tamper, you're going to get a lot of trouble. So in Mela, that fear combined with one seal equals two seals. It's as if you have two seals here. All right. New Mishnah. Now, since I didn't mention the story yesterday, we didn't have time, I'll say today. My sister-in-law was delivering a baby in Chicago. And my father-in-law happened to be there. It was Friday night. And uh, there's a lot of issues with Shabbos. So they chopped a Goyish nurse. They told the nurse, you know, you let us. He has to leave. He has a call. Is that what he told you? Okay. So basically, he was telling her that we need the light here. You let us. You let us do different things, right? My father was a Tamil Chacham, so he knew exactly how to say it and where to say it, and everything was good. And then he said, Listen, we gotta, we gotta do Kiddush. Maybe you could open up the bottle. Fine, she opened the bottle. For him. He pours the wine, he says Kiddush. And after Kiddush is over, she says, You know, it was very inspiring what you did. The last time I heard Kiddush was from my father 10 years ago. This is after all the. So. The point is, until now we were learning about Amir La'akum. Telling a yeah, guy. <laughs> yeah, no. Amir La'akum. We said Amir La'akum Shvos. 
This is the Rabbana. Now we're going to be discussing what happens if you go ahead and you tell a guy to do something for you. That is also to have enough from, you're not allowed to benefit from a malacha that a guy does for you on Shabbos. Says the Mishnah, Nachri Shehidlik, Eshaner, if a guy turned on the light, Mishtamish lo Oiro Yisrael. So if he turned it on for himself, then the Jew could use it. Vim Bishvil Yisrael, Asr. But if he turns it on for you, it's Asr. Unfortunately, I think that we are not very good at this halacha, a lot of us. Tell a guy, the, the lights are out, what do you do? Tell a guy, you say, Beremez, you turn it on. But if it's for you, then it's always Asr. No, but if you have an offer, you the Jew, if it's to benefit you, then it is Asr. This is the halacha we have to realize. If it's for you, it's Asr. Now, if the guy lit it for himself, so that's the trick usually. So you make the guy light it for themselves. You tell the cleaning lady, you say, there's something hidden under the table, there's a piece of chocolate, could you find it? And if they, she turns on the light for herself, then, but if you stop and say, hey, <clears throat> it's dark in here, and then they turn on the light, then it's also to use the light. Vim Bishvil Yisrael, also, if she turns it on for you, he turns it on for you, it's also. Anything. It doesn't matter, right? Even if you don't say anything, they turn off for you without you knowing it. As we're going to have a story, if you're in a hotel and they're they're, they're, they're trained, they're, it's, a, it's a high class hotel. They know that you need X, Y, Z, and they turn on things for you and they turn off also to use. That no, that doesn't help. No, we said that story yesterday. We said that story yesterday with saving from the fire, but that's that, that's different. Mm. No, that there's if they do it for themselves, if they have. A, if they, have, if they want to read Nachman Seltzer's book in the room. Ne- 100% never? never? What, you did a research? Never. Okay. Yeah, you tell me. Whenever somebody comes to your house. If you say, listen, I have a nice surprise hiding for you in the room. If you can find it, get it. So they have to turn on the light. They turn on the light for themselves and they get it. It's for them. You have to do it in a way that it's for them. If it's not for them, it's also. The image really is all. You figure it out how to do it. Same exact case. The guy takes water out of a well. The well is Rosh Hashanah Brings the water into Rosh Hashanah But he does it for himself. He does it for his own animal. So the, the Jew could take the leftover water. Why? Because the water in the pail was meant for the guy. The guy did it for himself. But if the guy sees that the animal is thirsty, he's doing it for the, for the, the Jew, you're not allowed to. Now, very interesting Tysus here. Tysus says, the Rabbin Tam at least says, and the re argues in the Rabbin Tam, why does the Mishnah talk about an animal? He says, Tysus, I'll tell you why. Why did the Mishnah say, if he did it for, for himself, the guy was thirsty, he drew some water, he had left over, the Jews drink. Why is there an animal here? He says, Tysus, because a human being could go into the well, could jump into the well and drink. And therefore, the guy didn't really do much for the, for the human being. So, it says Taisvis that the guy takes out water for an animal. The, the human being, the Jew, could drink it for himself. He just can't give it to the, to the animal. Tremendous chiddush. In other words, what Tais is saying is that if I could get along without the guy, so then I could use what the guy did for me. I could drink without the guy. I could go, I could climb into the bar and drink. So the guy didn't accomplish anything for me. But maybe I could drink from the water that he drew from the well. The Reese says, and there's things that, what about, uh, or the rush, I think, was asked, the rush, what about light? Uh, I could use the light down the street. So, so he brought the light over here. Yesh l'chal, fine. V'im b'shvili Yisrael also. Also nachri kevesh le reboy. A third case, very similar case. They're on a big ship, and the guy makes a ram to get off. Yorid achrov Yisrael, and the guy, the Jew, could could go down the, the ramp. The Bishri Yisrael also. And if he did it specifically, he works, let's say, for the shipping company, and he makes a ramp for the Jews that are coming off the ship. How did they get off on Shabbos? Oh, whatever. They didn't travel more than 2,000 amas, whatever the thing is. Now, another interesting thing that I saw here is that the Ran says that it's just an idea. I never really thought about it, that there's no real muktzah by a guy. 
So this word, let's say, is not muktza because the guy uh, chopped, off, chopped up the wood before Shabbos. But the guy himself doesn't have muktza because guy doesn't have muktza. It's not also for him. So he's not maktza daitai. I never really thought about it. A, a person that doesn't have Shabbos is not maktza daitai. He doesn't set aside and say, okay, this I can't use on Shabbos because for him it's mutter. The only question I had really is what about a non-religious Jew? Yes, he has shout, but he does, he's not makpin on it. So is he makzah? Because makzah is really something that's dependent on each mind. Fine. I guess they, they discussed that as well. I'll go upon him. Now, what if a guy made a ramp for a Jew? When could the Jew get off the boat? After Abdullah? Could he just jump off the boat? No. We have a concept called b'chdei shi'asu. Everything in, in, in Shabbos is... The amount of time that it takes to make, you can't benefit from a Maisa Shabbos. So, if a guy took him four and a half hours to build a ramp, you have to wait after Avdallah four and a half hours. You cannot benefit from the Maisa Shabbos. And that's the Allah with all these other things. It says the Mishnah, Maisa Birim Gamliel, Uskenim Shayu Boyim Besvino. There's a story. Birim Gamliel and the Skenim were on a ship on Shabbos. And they docked on Shabbos. Vasa Nachri Kevesh Leriboy. And the guy made a ramp. And they went, they used it on Shabbos. Says the Gemara Tzricha, I need all three cases. Beautiful concept. What's the difference if I light a candle for myself or for a hundred people? It's the same candle. So I didn't add anything for the Jew. I made it for myself. So that makes a lot of sense. If I make a candle for myself, I want to read. The guy wants to read. So he lights a candle. Now another Jew is going to benefit from it. That's great. Avomayim, but water is different. Everybody drinks a different amount. Maybe the guy notices the Jew waiting in line. So he's going to add a little water for, for himself, for the Jew. And that's also, Komashwan, that's not a problem. Vikavish Lamali. And Kevesh is exactly, the ramp is exactly Ner Lechod Ner if I'm building a ramp for myself, so a hundred people could also use it. I didn't add any wood so that the Jew could get off the ship. So what's the Chiddush there? It says the Gemara, there is no Chiddush, zero Chiddush. It was just a segue into the story. I wanted to tell you a great story. And why is this story important? Because it's not just a story that, it's not just a halacha somewhere in the Shulchan Aruch. Oh, I could use a ramp that a guy built on Shabbos. I'm telling you, Maisa Shahaya. Maisa Shahaya, the Tanoim used the ramp. And if the Tanoim used the ramp, there's no greater Shukhanach than that. If a Tan himself used it, then anybody can use it. It's not a, a halacha that uh, maybe we should be makbid on or whatever. No, there's halacha la Maisa. So, another case, a fourth case to the Mishnah. A guy gathered grass. In other words, he cut the lawn on Shabbos. He cut the hay on Shabbos. Machal, machil achrov Yisrael. So, the Jew could use the straw, whatever, to give to his animal. Now, just we have to point out, according to Rebbe Tam, that if a Jew doesn't gain anything, so what did the Jew gain? Uh, the guy cut it. Okay, but the Jew's animal could eat the straw. So the Rebbe Tam says, because we're talking about we're talking about two sides of the, of the river. So the guy actually brought it over to him. He couldn't get it without the guy. Okay. In this case, why is it also asked the Rebbe Natan? Why? Because the guy brought it to him. So this we had in the Mishnah already. If the guy fills up water to give his own animal, mashka, achra of Yisrael, then the Jew, whatever's left over, can use for his own animal, ben bishvil Yisrael, asur, and if he does it specifically for the Jew, asur. What other things do, do, do we have the Shabbos guy do? I mean, I see, I see the people grabbing people from Noam's house all the time in the basement over there. What? Turn on lights. Now, turning off lights, by the way, is different. Different halacha. On, you're having a no. <clears throat> what else are we using it for? Air conditioning, I mean, that, that's already, you can't like define it. What, you're not going to use the air conditioner, like this cold in the room. I don't. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, no, if the guy's in the house working and she needs air conditioning, that's great. Then, then, I know, but air conditioning, I think, is different. I think it's different. Hmm? Yeah. So don't do it. Don't do it. Eat outside in the light. Don't, don't use. Off. I'm not going to get into it right now, but it's different. No. You, of course you can't tell a guy, but if... If a guy turns something off, then you're not using what the guy did. You're not using darkness. Darkness is not a thing. Light is a thing. So therefore, it shouldn't be us or turning off. It shouldn't be us or to use. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then you have a, you're not allowed to tell a guy, hey, turn off the light. That for sure not. I'm saying if the guy came in and did it for you, you're in a hotel. You're not telling, and, and one of the, the people go by, and they're trained, you're in the Waldorf, they know, hey, this person doesn't want light on, I'm going to do them a favor, turn off the light. You, you could still use it. You could go to sleep in that room, because you're not using the darkness. Darkness doesn't exist. In the reverse, it would be also, if you're in a room eating by yourself, and it's pitch dark, and a guy comes and turns on the light for you, you have a problem. You can't read, in that, you can't read to the light, you can't do anything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm t- I said, you're not allowed to tell him to turn off the light. What happens if the guy did it by himself without Amira? Hanar from the, from the, from the Malacha. Says the Braisa. Here it continues. Anu Alacha. Bemedvar mamurim sheim akiroi. When are you allowed to use this water and the grass that the guy did for you, that left over from the guy, that you don't know the guy? You have no relationship. Ava makiroi osur. But if you know who this person is, you've got to be concerned that the guy added a little grass. He knows that you need it. He knows that Shab is for you. So he goes ahead and, 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 and cuts a little extra, and that's a problem. So you're allowed to come and take your animal and put the animal by grass to eat the grass. What's going on here? Listen to this. Grass, you're not allowed to cut grass on Shabbos. It's, it's a derice for you to, to remove the grass from the ground. Kaitzer, toilish, Aser. Now, is your animal Aser to take grass off the ground? Your animal cannot do any Isurim derice. It can't do any Malachas on Shabbos. What about toilish? So Taisus brings a mechilta that says, It was just funny because when I was learning my chavrusa, I'm like, what do you need a pasik for? Let's say it's usher to swim on Shabbos, right? It's also it's this is the rabbi to swim on Shabbos. Does that mean you have to remove all your fish from your fish tank? Because they're not allowed to swim. So he started laughing like, uh, like crazy. He thought it was funny. Like, take out all your fish. Every Shabbos, take out all your fish. Obviously, a fish needs water to, to live. So an animal needs hay to live. So it's an iser for you to be toilet. So that's why the animal should die. I mean, like, what, what are you supposed to do here? For 24 hours, the animal is not allowed to eat. But, okay, but what? Cut it in advance for But look what Taisa says. So Taisa says better. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to allow your animal to do tlisha. Oiker. Says it's not in the spirit of Shabbos. The, the Torah wants you to rest. Rest, take it easy on Shabbos, don't work. But for the animal, the, the opposite is true. When it eats, then it has an awe. It wants to eat. You can't tell an animal, don't eat, because it, you have to rest. The, it's tsar, it's not resting. Great. But listen what's going on here. When you have an Isidur Raisa, it's almost hafuch al hafuch. You have an isa de raisa to cut the, the hay. You're allowed to take your animal and let him eat the hay. But if the hay was cut on Shabbos, what do we call that? Mukta. Because Erev Shabbos wasn't prepared. So you cut it on Shabbos, it's mukta. Oh, mukta, which is only the Rabbanon. You're not, the, the animal cannot eat from the, the Rabbanon. What's the, what's the svara? Very simple. Because when does the Isidur Raisa present? You're not going to go and be over Isidur Raisa. I'm not concerned that if your animal is eating hay from the ground, grass from the ground, your sheep are, your sheep are grazing, you're going to bend down and, and, and grab some grass and, and cut it off. That's Isidur Raisa. You know better. 
But if your sheep is eating from a pile already made, which is mukta, you might go to the pile and feed him. You might take some of that mukta, because it's only the Rabbanon. So you have to be concerned. Oh. Where are we? No, he'll, he'll eat, he'll eat. Just, you, have, you have options, you have options. That's not a good option. So the question is, how are you allowed to, how are you allowed to bring an animal to, to this grass that's cut? It says over here, you're not allowed to bring him. Avaloi al gabi mukta b'shabas. Says the Gemara, the Kamalai ba'apa. We're talking about, you didn't bring the animal to the mukta. You just stood in a way where the animal arrives there by himself. You made him get there. Okay. So, if that's the case, it's okay. You're not allowed to take your animal and put its head by the muksa because you might touch the muksa. But you're allowed to stand in front of the animal where it gets there by itself. Just as a side note, the rush says, what happens if a guy comes and feeds your animal? Feeds your animal on Shabbos. Says the rush, you don't have to tell him not to. But it's interesting, he says, but if he does it more than once, that's awesome. One time, fine. But once you see that he's, he has some sort of relationship going on here, he's doing it again, then you tell him stop. Omar Mar, Bemedvar Mamurim, She Makirev Makirev also. We just said that if a guy knows you, he's your friend, you're not allowed to benefit from him. Frank, the Gemara, Rim Gamliel Makirev Hava, what's going on here? Rim Gamliel was on this boat with this guy. The guy gets off the boat, makes a ram. Obviously, if you're on the same boat, you know, 10, 20 people on the same boat for who knows how long, they got to know each other. So, they had a relationship. Omar Abaya too shot them in the Gemara. Abaya says, Shaloi be fun of Hava. You're right. It cannot be in front of him. So if it's not in front of him, it's okay. Rav Omar, Afilu Tema be fun of, Ner le echod, Ner le meyo. Says Rav, I don't care if the guy sees you. I don't, go, I don't care if you have a relationship. If the guy did it for himself, he lit the candle for himself. One candle is good enough for a hundred. So over here, he, he created a ramp for himself. So you're allowed to have an offer from it, even if the guy sees you. Abai says, no, if the guy sees, if he recognizes that you're having an offer from it, so since it was for you also, it's also. You hear? Since there's a little an offer for the Jew, it's also. If the guy is befanov. Oh, what are we going to do? It says, Mephurish and Abraisa. The Rungamliel said, like Abaya, that the point is that it's not, he's, not, he's not here. He's not looking, let's get off the ram quickly. Not like Rav said, ne'er le'echo ne'er. it says Mephurish, he's not, he's not looking, meaning if he was looking, I can't get off. Rav says if he's looking at us, he can't get off. Rav says, I'm sorry, Rav says even if he's looking at you, you could get off. Abai says if he's not looking, you can't get off. He says, Gemara, ne'er boy, e'ma hoyo va'asoy ne'er boy. He says, Rashi, the ma'isa shoyo ka'choyo, that, uh, where is this Rashi? The time at La Mishum have a mice. That was a story. He wasn't. He wasn't watching. But that's not the reason. The reason is Ner Lechad Ner Lemeir. Toshma. Here she is. Rav and Achim Darim Besoicha. You have a city that, like in New York, you have Goyim Jews. Boys of Amerchas Amerchets B'Shabbos. You have an operating bathhouse on Shabbos. Yeah, owned by a guy, no problem. But it depends. Could you go to the bathhouse, Motsi Shabbos, right away? If the majority are Goyim, you're allowed to. Imroi Yisrael, Yam Dimechdeshi, Yicham Ucham. Oh, we have a problem here. If there's a majority Jews, you have to wait. How long does it take to heat up the water? A couple of hours, you have to wait a few hours. But why? The guy heated it up for himself, for all the Goyim in the, in the neighborhood. So it's Ner Le'echad, Ner Le'meya. That's number one. Number two, he didn't heat it up in front of you. He didn't do it. You're not there. You're going later. What's the, what's the problem? Says the Gemara, Hasam ki mechame, adaita derubi mechame. That's not true. This is different. The guy, when he heats up the water, he says, oh, I know my Jewish customers. They're going to come soon. So he is heating it up for them. That's different. If a guy does it specifically for the Jew, then it's awesome. Tashma ner hadolik b'mesibo. If there's a gathering and there's a candle, same kind of idea. Im roiv nachrim, mutalashtam shloira. Im roiv Yisrael, also. If the roiv are Jews, you can't use it. Here is 
straight out. Ner le'echod, ner le'meya. What happened to Rava? Ner le'echod, ner le'meya. If I lit a candle for a gathering, who cares how many Jews are there? I lit it for the guy, and now the Jew could use it. Why not? Merza, merza, also. Says the Gemara, also, nami, ki madlika, daito de rube madlika. Returning to Amad Beis, sponsored by the official from Mishpacha magazine, the Big Bal Chesed, adaita de rube madlika. So the reason why he lit it is for the Yid, and therefore it's also. Says the Gemara, Maisa, and this we could also learn halach is from Lechayra. In the hotel, and not the hotel, different things. Nageh, this is Mamish Allah Maisa. Shmuel, Ikla Lebei, Oven Tyron. Shmuel came to a place. Asa Unachri, he was uh, the caregiver. Adlik Shraga, without asking any questions, lights the candle for, for Shmuel on Shabbos. Adrina Shmuel Abbe, he didn't want to benefit from it. He turned his head away. Given the Chazadai Sishtar, Vikakari. Now, the guy sits down, takes out his newspaper, and starts reading. Oh, you did it for yourself. Oh my, that didn't have shayu dadlik. Adrina Yulape, Gabi Shroga. And therefore, he used it. So here you see the idea. If the guy is doing it for himself, so how exactly do you get the guy to do it for yourself? That you have to figure out. If he's doing it for you, he knows that that's what you, the Balabas, want. He has no intention of sitting down in your dining room and eating. He's not invited in your dining room. And you're doing, and you ask him to turn on the lights. Beremez. Bechulu. Asr, asr, asr. Hadron Allah kol kisve. Hadron Allah kol kisve. Hadron Allah kol kisve. Says the Mishnah. When I was 14 years old, on Shavuos night, I sat down and I did Simen Shinches from beginning to end. And it actually became like my favorite Simen in Shulchan Aruch, which is Hilchas Mukta. Not that I know it or anything, but I just have, it was Girsa de Yankosa. So this is a parak about Mukta. Now I'm thinking now, one of the Seifim there is like, Everything is mukta, it says there, I think. Everything is mukta, unless you move it for a purpose. Okay, so call it Kalim and Italim Shabbos. We're talking about a Kli Shemelachter Laheter. So, you have something called Kli Shemelachter Laheter, and then there's a Kli Shemelachter Laheter. You have things that their purpose, their design for Heter, for things that are permitted to do on Shabbos, and there are things that are designed for Isra on Shabbos, such as a hammer, a drill. A shovel. These are things that are designed for Isser. Okay. So I have some sort of box, which is mutter to carry on Shabbos. So everything on it is mutter. What does he say? The doors are also mutter. Afal is sparku. So now it's the shayla. What, how do you, what's the gear say? B'shav, it's not, we'll see in the Gemara. What is afal pi? Is the afal pi the pshat that even though it happened on Shabbos, Okay, we'll see the Gemara. Afa pishin is sparku, b'shabes, not b'shabes. But even though the door came off, here's a picture from Yoni. So this guy right over here is mutter to move on Shabbos. So if the door came off, the door is also not mukta. Shein and doimin ledaltis abayis. So and. Avishin is barku. No, I'm, uh, we're holding before that. Sheena doim la davis abayis levi sheena min amuchon. The house, the door house, the house door, or let's say a closet door, and this happens a lot. I'm not passing now. I'm just thinking out loud here. If you have a, a door on a closet, it's on a rail, and sometimes you know these doors they pop off and on. So anything that's the house is mechubel karka. So if the door came off, then it's also to touch on Shabbos. You're not allowed to put it back on. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to touch it. You're not allowed to move it. This door that we just showed you on this little box is not similar to the door of a house, which is Muktza. Now we're jumping in to Kli Shemelachtoy Le Isser. Any tool that's designed for an Isser says, well, we'll see in the Gemara. Noitel Adam Kurnos Lefatsea Boye Goizen. That's a Goizen. So I have a hammer. Here's a hammer. Two. Crack a nut. This guy right over here. Whoa. Okay. Next. Kardoim lachtoy boys advelo. An axe. Now here's a nice picture of a dvela. So we're talking about dvela a lot. Igule dvela. 
So dvela is a bunch of figs. You put them in a barrel, and eventually they become one piece. It oozes out, and they become what? Look at the excitement from your Rabbi Shua. Mamsh excited. Unbelievable. What, it's in Sukkah? Iguli Dvela? Twice in Sukkah. Twice in Sukkah, says Yeshua. And in the past few years, of course. That's what I'm saying. So how do you break this up? You break it up with an axe. Now the axe is made to chop wood, which is also chopping up my Dvela. Megero Logurba Sagvina. This is an interesting one. He was nice. But Megero means a saw. He's showing you like a nice knife. It's a saw. You take a saw that you cut a, a, a bean. That saw you, you cut the, the, the cheese with. Magrefa, a shovel. Ligrebois agrogroyers. It's agrogroyers. You take a shovel. Here, magrefa. It's not a shovel. It's, um, it's a hoe. You, you pull the, the, the figs out of the barrel. Perfect. Beautiful picture. I, did I, do I have the other one? I wonder if I have it. I worked really hard. Oh, let me just show you what goes into this. I worked really hard on, on making this and adding some color and all that. And then I realized that Yoni has it a little bit better. So this just came to show that the work. Fine. Megeri logo is like vino. Magreva logo is like Gregorius. Esarachas. This is great. A type of a shovel. I have a picture here of it, actually. Because it's a very interesting thing. Here you go. Here's a shovel. I don't know if you can see. Well, this guy right over here. The screen. The t Whoa, it's even better. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing happened. Nobody's sitting next to me, Givaldi. So basically, this looks like a long stick with some shovel at the end, almost like a matzah bakery kind of situation. And then you have a pitchfork. The next one is a pitchfork. Let's have mal malgays. What is he doing with it? Beautiful picture from Yoni. If you, if you see closely, the father is giving his son food. Now why? This guy's not a Meshuggah, but his, his son is like playing in a playground on the other side of the river. So he, he, gives, him, he gives him a little bit of uh, a food with a, with a pitchfork. Quarantine. Quarantine, beautiful. Oh, oh. Just for that, it was worth to have you here. Mamish, your son is in quarantine. So what do you do? With a, by, with a distance, a long pole, you stick the food into his, 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 his room and you run. Esa koish, vesa kirkor. Do I have a picture of this? Maybe. Uh, not really. The point is, this is like a, it's a, what do you call it? Um, it's, a, it's a weaver's reed. It's a, you're going to, it's like a toothpick. You take a toothpick and you stick it into a, a uh, a strawberry, says Rashi. This is what we do today. Like a piece of herring. You take a thing, you, throw, you, you put it into the herring and you eat it, or, uh, or uh, better yet, like Rashi's example is better. A strawberry. To poke a fruit. And you have the typical needle. What do you do with a needle? Here are the two examples from Yoni. One is the top example, to take out a thorn from your finger. And the other one is a bigger kind of needle, vishel sakayim. Sakayim is the word sak. It's the sack guys, the guys that make, so it's a much larger needle to make a sack. To break into a house, to open up a, a lock. Okay. Five minutes, I have a good story then. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Noam. Chill, chill. Noam, we're going to get to the end of the Omer with that story. It's Givali. So if you read the Mishnah, it seems like you're allowed to use this door that fell off the handle even though it happened on Shabbos. AFP, right? Especially if it says Shinisparku B'Shabbos. And certainly if the door fell off on Friday, you're allowed to move it. If it says the Gemara, it doesn't make any sense, the AFP. When Shabbos came in, they were together, it was one piece, it was with the box. So now that it fell off on Shabbos, okay, I can use it. The door that fell off before Shabbos has no connection to the box. So maybe then it's also. Yeah, you're right, I have to explain it a little bit. The AFP is not going on when it happened. The Avapishin is sparku b'chol nitalim b'shabes. 
The Avapi is talking about even though it came off, not even though it happened on Shabbos. There's no Chiddush in Shabbos. The, the opposite. If it happened on Shabbos, it's, it's less of a Chiddush. Not Avapi. Avapi that happened in the weekday, that it fell off, then I'm allowed to do it on Shabbos. I'm allowed to touch it on Shabbos. It's not Mokhtzah. The Gemara is going to explain now what, what's going on here. How do you put the door back on? Could you put the door back on? Why is it not Mokhtzah? How? Torah Abonah. Del shal shido v'shal teva v'shal migdol. So, shido, teva, migdol, all over Shas, these three guys go together. There are types of boxes. A dresser, an amoir, uh, whatever you want to call it. What do you call those? Uh, where you put your leichter in there. Whatever it is. The tall one, the short one. Boxes. Del shal shido v'shal teva v'shal migdol. You're allowed to remove the door in Shabbos, but you can't put the door back on in Shabbos. We're going to see what that means. But if it's a chicken coop, you cannot remove the door. Certainly you can't put it back on. As the Something that's attached to the ground, so I'm not allowed to fix, I'm not allowed to break, I'm not allowed to fix. Something just, I was, I was thinking about, what about the back of your toilet? It has like a cover. That's mechubar to karka. That's a cover that's mechubar to karka. It should have another type of halacha than your typical cover of a box. Yesh binyin be karka. It's also to break something. It's also to build something that's attached to the ground. Yesh stir be karka. Elo shel shidu shel teva shel migdol. Maikosova, what's going on here? Ikosova yesh binyin be kalim. Yesh stir be kalim. Now what do you hold? Do you hold that it's also to build on Shabbos a kli? It's also to put together a kli, a vessel that's not attached to the ground, and it's also to break. It's one or the other. It's both the same. If you can't build, you can't break. If you can't break, you can build. So Abai comes and he amends this b'risa. You have to fix it up a little bit. And he says, it's not two halachas. You're allowed to take off a door, but you're not allowed to put on a door. It's one single halacha. That what? It's 100% usher to build and to destroy a kli. If it, the door fell off, you're not allowed to put it back on. It doesn't say you're allowed to take the door off. The door fell off by itself. So you're not allowed to take the door off. But if it fell off, you're not allowed to put it back on. So you're right. You're not allowed to take it off. You're not allowed to put it back on. So I'm amending it. I'm saying not that you are allowed to take it off. It fell off. Vishinitlu. Now, everybody's thinking to themselves, <laughs> how could you change a price like that? That's not what it says. I have two bomb questions. What did I say? Sorry. Rava told Abaya, I have two questions here. It says, I'm allowed to remove it. It didn't say that it fell off. It seems like we're talking about two cases here. I'm taking off, but I can't put back on. Avol doesn't fit in here. It should say, you're not allowed to put the door on. It's one halacha. Do not put the door back on if it fell off. Not avol, but. It's not two cases. No. He holds. There's no such thing. You're allowed to build on Shabbos a clear. You're allowed to put together Lego. It's, it's not a problem to put together on Shabbos a kli. You're allowed to break it down also. Over here, I'm allowed to take the door off on Shabbos. That's not a problem. Taking off is not a problem. Putting back on is a problem of Makabapatish. What if I put it on hard? What if I put a... Where did I see? Yeah, I'm going to put, I'm going to put like a little... The hinge back. I'm going to put the metal piece in. I'm, I'm Makabapatish it. That's a problem. One more minute. Says Rav Yehuda, we're not talking about in our Mishnah a cliche malach de laser like I explained it. We're talking about a specific hammer he has on the side, set aside, designated to break nuts. But if you take a real hammer from a blacksmith, that's awesome. In other words, a cliche malach de laser, a real hammer, I feel it's a gufay also. Oh. So now are the two concepts, we're going to talk about it more tomorrow. There's a concept called Lutzorich Gufoy, and there's another concept called Lutzorich Mekoymai. So, Lutzorich Gufoy is very simple. The action that's designated to perform, the malach is designated to perform. So, when it comes to a hammer, a hammer is designed to break things, to knock nails in. That's what it's designed. So, Lutzorich Gufoy, I need this hammer to break something. 
That's what I need it for. I need it to break a nut. But so gufa is not a heter. I have in my house a screwdriver. What is that? It's a cliche of But right now, I need it to separate uh, chocolate. That's the tzoyach gufay. I need it for that malacha. Also to use according to Rav Yehuda. We don't pass it like that. We pass it in smutter. What else is there? Let's say this is a cliche of Let's just say. I'm not saying it is. And it's on my bed. So I'm allowed to move it because I need my bed. I need the makayim of this mukta. The makayim, so I'm allowed to move it away. So Rashi says, if it's asr, according to Rabbi Yudah, to use litzayr gufay for a, its purpose to break a nut, so certainly I cannot move a hammer, according to Rabbi Yudah, if I need the, the chair, I need the table. Because litzayr mekayma is less of a, good, of a reason than litzayr gufay. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. This crazy long shovel for quarantine. What? You have a special pitchfork to feed your child in quarantine? That doesn't make sense. We're talking about a regular hammer. And I'm allowed to use a regular hammer on Shabbos if I need it for a mutter melacha, like breaking a nut. Because he holds that you're allowed to take any muktzakli. If I'm using it for a mutter melacha, I'm allowed to use it on Shabbos. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, we'll talk about other muktzas a different time. Shemalis. Shame at least my mom came to see how you know.